This is Wrap the News, and this is the incoming end time system. We're going to begin with the chaos in Puerto Rico, a 6.4 earthquake and multiple aftershocks rocking the island just a day after a 5.8 earthquake destroyed multiple homes. This was a very large earthquake, and uh, we also know there's going to be a series of aftershocks as a result of, of the main quake. Uh, so we want to prepare ourselves in being able to have um, those resources in place. Following a powerful earthquake in the east of the country, the quake struck near the town of Sivraja, about 550 kilometers east of the capital, Ankara. It was followed by dozens of aftershocks, some of them almost as strong as the initial quake. A 7.7 magnitude quake erupting along the same fault line that's affected Puerto Rico in recent weeks. The epicenter between Cuba and Jamaica, and you can see the school children here in Kingston, Jamaica, hiding under their desks. Hundreds of aftershocks have been reported in the area, and there might be more, so people had to stay in emergency shelters. Emergency shelters were set up in schools, in sports halls, in mosques. So this is where many people will spend the night. Experiencing very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. All right, we're going to go to break. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back, back after we'll be right this. Back. Wow. Well, it's not only hot, it's deadly hot. At least 22 people have died so far in the heat wave currently sweeping the country. 106 degrees in Wichita, 98 in Milwaukee, Oklahoma City, 106, 99 in Chicago. Hot, hot colors we're not used to seeing. Triple digit temperatures likely just ahead for New York, Philadelphia, Washington. A mountain fire raging out of control northeast of Phoenix. From 300 acres, it exploded last night to more than 6,000 in the Tonto National Forest. No containment so far. The heat index is crazy. Taylorville, Illinois, 121. Newton, Iowa, 129. Hutchison, Minnesota, 123. First, black spots appeared on the sun's surface. The Earth's magnetic field became weaker, the temperature rose, and ice caps began melting. This event we call the Deluge, or the Great Flood. For days before the day of the Deluge, the Earth was rumbling, groaning, as if with pain. For nights before the calamity struck, in the heavens, Nibiru as a glowing star was seen.
Transport and communications infrastructure, homes and businesses all suffered power cuts this evening in large parts of the country. Blackouts to London and the South East, as well as the Midlands, the South West and Wales, the North East and North West of England too. Let's go first to Anya Pop for the nationwide picture. Well, what's happened? Up and down the country there's reports of the power going out for minutes and, uh, and longer. Uh, Western Power, which supplies the Midlands, the South West and Wales, have called it a major incident. Northern Power Grid in the North East and Yorkshire say 110,000 110, customers lost power. And UK Power Networks, who control power lines for London and the South East, also confirmed widespread outages. There's been a massive power outage in Brazil that left tens of millions of people without electricity. In total, six states were hit, including the country's biggest cities, Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. Brazil's had blackouts before, but the scale of this is, uh, is extraordinary. This affected pretty much almost uh, the southern half of Brazil, according to, to one report, an estimated 50 million people, a quarter of the population of Brazil, were affected by this. Uh, it, it triggered um, alarm in the population. I mean, Brazil at night isn't usually that safe, and uh, there was a, a major fear of crime, enough for police to, uh, to urge citizens in the biggest cities that were affected, Sao Paulo and Rio, to stay indoors. Power supply in parts of Yishun it went down at 4.30. Those still experiencing disruption should reset their building's internal network. Nibiru is also called the destroyer in the Colbrin, which is an ancient gospel found in Scotland that was omitted from biblical text, much like the Dead Sea Scrolls were. It reads, Men forgot the days of the destroyer. Only the wise know where it went, and that it shall return at the appointed time. The destroyer, its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. Its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. Its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. And that it shall return at the appointed time, and that it shall return at the appointed time, it reads, Men forgot the days of the destroyer, only the wise know where it went, and that it shall return at the appointed time. The destroyer, its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. And these are the Transformers being blown worldwide, knocking out power to whole countries, interfering with the magnetic system. And lastly, this is what's coming down on the earth in what we call the Dragon's Tail. Millions and millions upon meteorites is going to be rained down. They cannot explain what is going on right here. But if you would actually read Revelations, if you would read the Bible, period, you would know that these meteorites in the end time is going to be rained down during the Gog and Magog war. And these are coming in blazing hot. This is Raptor News. Repent, return, and stop sinning. <laughs>